considering the last time I did one of these, I was sitting in the passenger seat of Vanessa's car, I feel like it's been quite some time since I've sat right here and shared with you guys a Dollar Tree haul. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. My name is Kira if you are new and of course in every sit down video is usually Oliver right over my shoulder. So today is no different. I feel like it's been quite some time since I've been able to sit down and share any kind of DT haul with you guys. The last time I shared a Dollar Tree haul, Vanessa and I from Lemonade Mom, we did something really fun. We both live in the general San Antonio area and so we just stayed on the entire east side of San Antonio and went to all the Dollar Trees that we had never been to. So we went to 10 in one day and we shared what we bought in each store right in the car because we were on a 10 item limit. So that was really fun. I'll link that video for you guys up above if you want to go ahead and check it out. Otherwise, this uh, video consists of two separate trips. So I do have one Dollar Tree right by me that I do have a fair amount of success in and so I don't even remember what I ran in there for so, oh Mother's Day cards I ran in just for Mother's Day cards and while I was in there I picked up a couple of things so I have that to share with you and then my favorite Dollar Tree one of the ones that we went to in that top 10 is right over by Maya's dance studio and where Mason does karate and stuff on the other side of the town that we live in and this store was like a jackpot for Vanessa and I. We probably could have spent three or four times our limit inside of that store, but we were trying to do the right thing and stick to our challenge. And so Maya and I went back yesterday after dance. She had a gift card that she wanted to spend and I was able to pick up a bunch more things. So I have a bunch of stuff to share with you. I separated everything. I haven't done that in a really long time. So I'm just gonna go through it section by section. And I think I'm gonna start off first with all of their bridal stuff. Since I'm filming this in the middle of May, right now everything is exploding with everybody's wedding stuff because this is wedding season. So I found a lot of really cool things. My best friend is getting married a year from right now. I'm in her wedding. I'm her matron of honor. And so um, every time I see things right now that are wedding related, I like have her wedding on the brain. So let me share with you those things at first. So the first thing that I picked up were these scrunchies. You guys, these things are so cute. I got six for the bridal party and then one for for our guest of honor. And so the black one says bridesmaid right there in gold font, which I think is pretty neat. And it's just, you know, a regular hair scrunchie with like a little bow that would be attached. So like I said, I got one for every member of the bridal party. But what I love about the white ones, which I was telling my cousin about, it says the bride right? And this gold font. But like we just said, it's a scrunchie and the other side is black. So what if, I mean, black, blank. So what if with gold, like material, iron on and a cricket machine, you can put mother of, aunt of, grandmother of, the bride. The other one doesn't say the bridesmaid. It just says bridesmaid, but this says the bride. So I just love that because I feel like when we set her table up for her bridal shower, I'm pretty sure that both my aunt, which is her mother, my mother, and her, her grandmother, if she comes, will be the other people sitting at this table. So we can put mother of the bride, grandmother of the bride, and aunt of the bride. This way, this one table is set with all of these scrunchies. So I thought about that afterwards. So now I kind of need to go back and grab a few more of the white ones so that we can, you know, crick it on them. We don't need to crick it on the other ones. Those ones are perfect. Uh, and now I'm going to have to find something because there's two flower girls. So now I'm going to have to find or get scrunchies and kind of make something like this so I can do the two flower girls. Uh, something else I found, you know, Dollar Tree has been big with these balloons and I just think they're such an amazing price for $1.25. It comes with a little tiny straw and it's usually one 
like puncture hole that's it and then one hole will blow the whole thing up and so this one says bride in gold so we'll use that for decorations for her shower and then I saw this little headband and it says bride and it's gold and I love the detail of the little diamond glitter on the eye for bride so I thought maybe this would be something fun we can attach like some chiffon to it so it looks like a veil and make Jennifer wear it you know throughout the shower or something I thought that would be kind of cool and then they had this burlap they had the same thing but it said just married but they wouldn't be married yet if we we're using it for her bridal shower so I didn't get that one but they do have the same thing in just married if you're looking for that but this is just a plain burlap banner and I really like these because they are pretty close to the quality from Target and Target charges you three and five dollars for these so I've actually stopped doing Target's dollar spot the last like five six seven times I've gone in there over the last year or so I just am not impressed because they have jack their prices up some things are seven some things are nine there are things that could be as expensive as 15 in the dollar spot that's not how it ever was and a lot of these things are quality that you can get from the dollar tree that you're paying a dollar 25 for maybe the quality is a little bit better but for seven dollars so for the little less i'll pay the dollar 25 and so you can kind of see if you let it focus what it looks like up there and then it comes with the twine in the back to hang it so i figured we can use those for decorations and then i also got the pack of wedding nail files i thought that would be cute to kind of set the table it says team bride on the pink one and then there's a gold glitter and then if we flip it around it says bride on the white one so i thought that was cute figured we can use those but that was it for my bride stuff but then i got a ton of graduation stuff so jacob is graduating this year well he's already technically graduated because he hasn't had classes for the second semester but his actual graduation is coming up on june the 4th so i want to do something for him here but we are going to go home to Long Island for the summertime and I'd rather throw him a graduation party there. Most of our family and friends are on Long Island so it would be better for me to do that there. However, I don't want my family to go and like shop for his stuff but I can't wait until I get there at the end of July or there will be no graduation stuff. So some of the stuff I picked up for the party that we're going to have there but then... I want to do something for him here like the day that he graduates I don't want to just go out to dinner and go home like I feel like I want to do a little bit of something with our friends and family that we have here I still have Vanessa here I have Marissa here I have Lauren here like I would still like to do a little bit of something here so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for what but if you're throwing a graduation party Dollar Tree had some pretty cool things so I'm really excited to share with you these so I thought these were awesome you know Dollar Tree always does their little tabletop um, pieces but I thought this would be kind of neat because they have the little spot up here where the hat is and how cool would that be is if, if you use this as a centerpiece and then you tied your balloons around it so you this would be perfectly fine to be used as a balloon weight I love the little tassel hanging from the hat and I love the idea of the class of 2022 there's some stuff that I probably could get that's generic black and gold or some generic just graduation things but I want to be able to scoop up the things that say 2022 because if I miss out on that there's no generic to cover that so that's kind of what I pretty much focused on these are my favorite so these are beach balls now my mom has a pool and then anything that I do for Jake's actual graduation day I thought about renting like a house an Airbnb that has a pool in it for the day so we can have a you know a dinner there and invite everyone for dinner and let everyone be able to swim in the pool and stuff and then the graduation party that I'm gonna have for Jacob is also going to be at my mom's and she has a pool so I think these will come in handy I got three of one and only one of this kind because it's the only one that I could find that said the 2022 congrats 
red and it's in the, in the white and the black and gold which is black and gold is kind of the theme that I'm going for but then I found three of these just in case I do use some here and some for my mom's I don't want to have to worry about having to save them for a dollar 25 I just want two for each event so this one just says congratulations grad 2022 and it's more colorful than that black and gold but like I said I bought three of those so I have four total and I'll probably like I said use two for each event and then Jake is huge on dogs my kid just everything's dogs like if I get him a calendar for Christmas it's a dog if and he gets notebooks or something it has to have a dog on the kids obsessed with dogs so when I saw this little decor thing just for a dollar I had to grab it but look how cute he is he's just a little fuzzy dog and he has a top hat on it and he's wearing a little like graduation gown thing and it says grad and so I'm just gonna put this like at his spot wherever he sits at the table and then I noticed that the the two different patterns at the Dollar Tree so that same like congratulations grad 2022 that color really colorful like beach ball that they saw that they I showed you uh they have that's pretty much one whole line of things so they have plates they have cups they have the decor decorations all in that colorful and then they also have all of that also in that black and gold so it really depends where you you know want to go with it but this is just one of those tabletop decor things I mean more just for centerpieces I bought two of them this is definitely going to go to my mom's I, I'm thinking like on either side of the food table I'll just put those up just for a little bit of decoration and then these are hanging decorations I got two silver and one gold you'll see the gold is that black and gold theme so it looks like the graduation cap and then it has all the gold tassels that hang down so i thought that was really really cute and then this one again is that colorful print the congratulations grad 2022 and then that one has all the silver tassels hanging down and i got two of those so i'll be able to um use these for all the decorations and those are some of the things that if i do use them to decorate for jake for the actual day that is one of the things I would just kind of fold up and then put in like one big envelope or a box or something. I was thinking maybe even those uh, those vacuum seal bags, like putting everything in a vacuum seal bag and then sucking it flat and being able to bring that in my suitcase for when I go to New York so I can use the decorations for that. Uh, and then I found these ones on my second trip. This one here, I'll show it to you guys this way. So this one says, congratulations. And then this one says grad. So it's like the bride one that I just showed you. But this one says congratulations grad. So I thought those would be awesome for me to just hang up somewhere. Probably more at my mom's. The balloons are the things I don't want to have to worry about deflating. So I'll just get whatever regular helium balloons i own my own helium tank so i'm sure i can find on amazon or something a bag of latex balloons and i have tons of balloon string so i have no problem decorating whether it's the airbnb or my own house or the pool rental place down the block like whatever place i choose to do for jake's actual day I'll just probably use like regular latex balloons and these really fun ones I'll save for the actual party. Um, Jake's two favorite things in this world, he loves any kind of pasta, like any cheesy pasta, sauce pasta, anything. And then he loves any kind of Tex-Mex. So I thought we would do like Italians in Texas as a theme for his graduation. So we would do Italian based food and then Tex-Mex based food. So pastas, chicken parm, meatballs, that kind of thing, and then tacos. So that kind of covers both worlds. And I thought this would be cool. I think these are from Cinco de Mayo, but I think these would be really cool to kind of hang over that Tex-Mex bar. So this is a sombrero and I thought that's a really cool hanging decoration and then this one is an avocado. So how cute would that be to kind of hang over the taco station? I stinking love those. Uh, I think that, oh no, it's definitely not it for graduation stuff. Hold on. I have a few other things. So I saw this and I thought I can use these for 
centerpieces also as balloon ties. We only have two of those ones I showed you first. And I'm thinking at my mom's it'll probably be 60 people. I was trying to keep it a little smaller than that, but I just don't think that I can because I have some family members like my aunt, my cousin Jen, who's getting married, her mom, my aunt, uh, her, she has four children and they all have a significant other. So between my aunt and uncle and her four kids, I mean, that's just 10 people right there. And then it's 11 between my mom and my family here. So before you know it, it, it just adds up so stinking fast. So I'm not sure how many tables I'm going to have, but then I saw these and I thought these also could be used as balloon weights and be really fun with pictures. So again, we have that colorful print and then the black and gold. And the black and gold is what I really wanted, but I feel like that was most popular because a lot of what was left was this print. I'm willing to take whatever at this point. But this says reach for the stars in the black, white, and gold. And it's that graduation shaped hat. And then up here, it has the little picture holder. So I thought maybe I can put like Jake's senior photo or being that this party will be so long after graduation, I can have actual graduation day photos, like live action of him getting his diploma and stuff. And I can stick them in the little clip up here and then we can tie the balloons to it and use that as the centerpieces. So I got the reach for the stars in that gold. And then this one says, congrats grad and that really colorful print and I got three of those so that gives me six total plus those two center pieces so that's eight total for me to use for decorating the tables and then I just got these in the black and gold print and there's 12 in each one and so I bought five that's 60 plates but I think I'm just gonna use these for like desserts and then just get good sturdy black or gold plates for dinner. I love the DT for their prices, but when you're serving heavy things like tacos, nachos, spaghetti, whatever, you do not want a saggy plate. And I don't want anybody uh, going, you know, having to worry about those kind of things. But you still want the novelty for a party. So I'm going to use this for dessert time. And even though desserts don't usually require such a big plate, I'll cut up things like watermelon. We have family members that work in Italian bakeries and stuff that will have tons of Italian pastries and cakes and at least this gives somebody an opportunity to take a bunch of different things and then for the actual meal and stuff I'll get better quality plates. All right, stickers. I never ever ever buy stickers, but I found these and I was I just I couldn't say no. If you watch my meal planning videos and you know that I usually decorate my meal planner with stickers and these are all by Crafter Square and this one is all school related. So it says back to school, it has like books, a school bus, an alarm clock and notebooks and stuff. So I thought that would be really cool for either coming up for the end of school to kind of put that in my planner and then also for, you know, obviously back to school time. And then I have a lot of traveling coming up in the next year. So this one is all travel. It says take me anywhere, travel, let's travel the world. It shows like little tickets and airplanes and all that. So I thought that would be helpful. And then most of the time, if I'm going somewhere, I'm going to New York, which home is where your heart is. And that's where all my family is. So I, this says like, home is where your heart is and it has a whole bunch of homes and stuff and they're super glittery and cute. I love the little dog that says my best friend. So I definitely will be able to use these in my planner. So I went ahead and picked those up. Like I said, Maya was with me. So she saw these little princess markers and she had her own gift card. So she asked me if she can get those and I said yes I'm sure it's gonna end up in places it shouldn't but fingers crossed um, she does the right thing uh, I've mentioned in my last few Dollar Tree hauls that I like buying these little battery operated lights and I put them in those empty lanterns by my door with like colored tissue paper or for this I'm thinking like fisherman's net since it's the summertime some seashells the fisherman's net and then these lights that'll look really cool and these are seahorses can you see? Look how cute those are. So you have the blue seahorses and then you have the green starfish. So how cool are these going to be lit up in that whole like lantern with the netting and everything. I think that is awesome. 
I saw this for decor and I just couldn't leave it there. I thought he was so cute. Look at the little cactus that says welcome. I love here the whole galvanized metal and the little stand. I just love how raw and cute that that is, especially here in Texas. I thought that was sweet so I could not leave that in the store. And then I found this you guys. So this is the only plus item that I bought. It was five dollars but if you've been following me you know I am a sucker for these little door decorations. I just thinking love these things. I think I own like five six of them I don't even know but how stinking adorable is this barn door that says welcome it comes with a little handle and it's like a sturdy handle it makes this guy like really really heavy and then it has this sweet little wreath on it how cute is that for memorial day like I just I can't I literally can't I think they are all, all so adorable so worth five dollars so well made they are just adorable. The flowers are perfect. The bow is perfect. Like everything on here is just so nice. I do find that when I get things like this, I go back. There's always like little stragglers of hot glue and stuff. So I will go back and just perfect everything. I mean, you paid a dollar for it, but for the base that they give you to just go back and just make this perfect is so so worth it so i'm so glad i was able to find this guy and the rest of the stuff that i have is food finds <laughs> you guys know i love my food finds and i found some really uh interesting things some that were new and some that were just favorites of ours that we like to grab so i've seen this brand before but i don't know if i've ever seen these per se and i immediately thought of chili I took chicken chili out today that we had left over in the freezer to have like lunch and this is all I could think about. So it says Farmer's Pantry Cornbread Crisps and when you look at them it looks like little crispy pieces of cornbread. How good would that be on top of your chili? Like instead of doing crushed up tortilla chips doing these. I don't know that sounds really yummy. So I went ahead and grabbed that and then Vanessa who lives in Canada she's not really posting anymore right now. She's been on like a bit of a sabbatical but I have been building a box for her. I know there's a bunch of things that we can get here in the United States that she can't get in Canada and a lot of it is Ray Dunn stuff so I have a whole bunch of Ray Dunn stuff for her and then I like to find either hot sauce or like hot sauce kind of themed things because she really likes that of special items you can only get here you can't get there anyways to make a really really short story long I found the tapatio which she does like that I've sent her already a few of those things salsa picante hot fries they're corn and potato snacks I know she's kind of going through a whole diet change now so I'm not even sure if this is something that's good for her maybe she could just treat a treat as a treat but it looks like hot fries like you remember those when you were little but these are hot sauce flavored so I don't know I'm just gonna throw them in with all the other things that I have put away for her and then I haven't seen these in a long time but when I find them I grab them but this is the Stouffer's or Stouffer's animal crackers in the chocolate these are probably some of the best animal crackers you will ever have if you remember the ones by nabisco they used to be in the little boxes that looked like circus characters and then it would come with a little string they would have the circus ones that would be like regular animal crackers and then nabisco also had ones that were called chocolate snaps and they were my favorite they were just little round cookies but they were chocolate and they were perfectly crunchy but when they melt when you chewed them it would kind of dissolve in your mouth and it would have a really yummy almost brownie flavor and these are probably the closest thing I've ever had to that crisp not exactly the same but pretty darn close so when I see the chocolate ones I go ahead and grab them and the kids enjoy them in their lunches uh, Maya saw these and grabbed these. She said it has been a very long time since she's had the Snyder's pretzel snaps. We usually buy these around Christmas time because these are the perfect ones to put the Hershey Kiss on top and put into the oven. Some people will do that with a Rolo and then put a pecan on top and it makes like a turtle. There's so many different recipes out there. I like to do them with Andy's candies because I really enjoy mint during Christmas time. So as soon as Maya saw these, she said, we haven't had these since Christmas. So I got her the Snyder's pretzels and then I'm such a glutton for punishment, but I really, I went to the DT twice and only bought him once. So I mean, it's not 
right? So I mean, actually I think the last time I bought Ranch Bugles and I ate those already. But like I don't, I get myself one snacky treat and they don't go that often. So um, I got myself the Zaps in New Orleans kettle style voodoo chips and I will have to share these with Maya anyways. As soon as I open the bag, she's like a vulture. She's gonna know and then she's gonna sniff them out like the dogs and the cat. If you, Maya wanted whipped cream on her pancakes this morning and soon as you made the <sighs> Oliver was right there. Hello? Oh, is she doing the white yummy stuff out of the can that I like to lick when no one's watching? Yeah, they're all savage, okay? Um, I saw this. I was a little disappointed at first. I didn't look at this until I was unpacking it from the box. I should have noticed that it didn't feel so heavy. There's only four pouches in here, but I'd have to look on Walmart and see what the Quaker oatmeal is and how many packets you get to see if the $1.25 was a good deal but sometimes I like to try the smaller ones in case I don't like it then I didn't have to buy the big thing and if we like it we can keep an eye out but this is chocolate instant oatmeal. I don't know how I would feel about that but maybe I'm not as much of an oatmeal person as a cream of wheat. They had the cream of wheat but that one I did look and see because the box was much smaller. It was like this little tiny box and it only had three envelopes in it and I was like yeah for I don't know I don't think that's a good deal but I love cream of wheat um and that or like a grit a creamy grit texture so I'm not as a fan for oatmeal but Paul really likes oatmeal and I'll try it if it's something different like chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. And then I bought two boxes of these because if I find big boxes of cereal at the Dollar Tree that are name brand, I grab them. And this is the limited ed edition sugar cookie toast crunch. We actually got this in a combo thing like this, you know, two boxes or whatever in one box from Sam's Club, I believe for six bucks. So this is obviously a gigantic steal and they do not expire till September 16th of 2022, which is my mother-in-law's birthday actually. Uh, so, but my kids, this won't even make it out of May, you know, we're almost out of cereal already. So, oh no, we didn't open the ones from Trader Joe's. Anyways, it's not even going to last very long but the sugar cookie toast crunch was really good and my kids loved it so I did grab two boxes of those and then these I found I have seen these before but not exactly these if it makes any sense I'm huge on the Martinelli's I've talked about my love for Martinelli juices I believe I've looked this up before I think I have but this these are from New York I want to say they might be produced now or manufactured rather in California but I want to say Martinelli's I, 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 I'm almost positive I've looked this up once before originated and started in New York and when I was growing up they used to have the little tiny bottles that were round and you could only get them like in a deli or a bagel store or something and I would get so excited when my parents would let me get that or quick like that was like my big thing. Well when I saw these I thought these would be really cute for the flower girls for the bridal shower. I know it's still a little while away but the place where we're having it has bottomless mimosas. Obviously the little kids are not going to have mimosas but I thought these would be cute to put at the two little girls station maybe tie a little bow around it or whatever and they would make them feel like they were having special drinks. So this is the Martinelli's Sparkling Cider. I've had this one, but not in this shaped bottle. Not where it looks like it's a bottle of champagne. I've had this exact sparkling juice flavor and they had it there, but the bottle was different. Not where it looked like champagne like that. So I grabbed that one and then this one says it's rosé. So I don't know. I've never seen that one before. So I grabbed that one, being that there's two flower girls, figured we can just put that in the bag with everything else. And then the last of my finds is bread. Bread, bread, and bread. I have some Dollar Tree videos where like my thumbnail picture is me with bread, like, and you know all the keto people are like scrolling past and it's giving them twitches. And I know I am so sorry, but my kids like bread and my family likes bread. And even when I was trying to do like low carb and keto, it was really hard for me to cut bread out of my diet. I was able to do it. And I do believe that that's what helped me lo lose 50 pounds. And so I am pretty much almost positive that keeping bread and stuff like this in our diet is probably why 
I blew back up like a balloon when I started eating it, but it's $1.25 for quality bread. And my kids eat sandwiches a couple of times a week and we have French toast and I'm awful. I know, I'm sorry. But I found the butter crust bread. So I got the large loaf of that. And then I also got the split top white of the butter crust. And we have a butter crust factory right around the corner. Where does this say this one's made? This one says it's made in Thomasville, Georgia, but that just might be where the main manufacturers are. Like we actually have a butter crust plant not too far. I pass it all the time. So we must get some kind of local bread from there. And then I got two of the regular classic white, like large wonder loaves, but my husband loves himself some quality wonder bread and he is going to be happy to see that I scored that from the Dollar Tree because if I don't find it from the Dollar Tree, then every once in a while I have to give it and just buy from the grocery store. And then these are my favorite finds. So these are the Nature's Own Perfectly Crafted and it's the brioche in the hot dog buns. And so I've already thrown this in the freezer because this is the first from the first Dollar Tree that I found. The other stuff, uh, the other bread I found just no one of the wonders I found. So yeah, this and one of those wonder breads I had in the freezer because it's when I went to my local Dollar Tree. They're pretty good about always having great bread. But then when I took uh, Maya to the one by her dance is where we found the other bread, but that was just yesterday. So I left that in my room, but now I'll go ahead and take all of this back downstairs and I will put it in the deep freezer because we just freeze our bread. Most of it's within a couple of days of when I buy it. And then I just freeze it and then I keep it in the refrigerator and it stays so, so well. And I love my bread scores, but from the Dollar Tree. But I pretty much love all of my scores from the Dollar Tree. I feel like I've been really good about not really buying crap from there too much. It's just been decor or really fun finds or things that I really think are worth the dollar for us to just use in our day-to-day -day life. So I am very proud of the things that have come out of these last two trips. And if you enjoyed watching, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I am going out with Vanessa in the next couple of days, but I don't know if we're making a Dollar Tree stop. But if we do, I will be sure to save whatever and film for a future video for you guys. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.